so what is up guys this is Paul again for replica gun reviews it's really good to see you um today's penetration video is going to be a bit different um it's actually based off of a video I was watching last night um as you may or may not know there is an awesome channel run by a guy named Michael it's a channel a YouTube channel and a store it's called replicaairguns.com the link will be in the description I'll also put his channel icon right there so you can see what it looks like um, but you can easily find his channel through my channel um, I have very few subscriptions so you can just easily find him there um, and in the description but um anyways his video I was watching last night I believe it was titled um, are BB guns good for self-defense and um, in it it was a tabletop review he didn't do any testing um, but in it he had made a statement saying that he thought BBs would just bounce off of clothes and when he said that I got really curious I was like I don't know if will they or will they not you know like I, I tried searching YouTube to see if anyone had tested it and I couldn't find anything if you guys know of any videos definitely comment below uh, so I decided to just put it to the test myself. Um, I accidentally, if you've been following my channel a few weeks ago, I shot myself at point blank range right here at the base of my finger. Um, they had to cut this whole thing to get the BB out. Um, I have a video of the procedure up um, and I have a video of how to take care of it up. Um, I'll put links to those in the description. I had to wait a week to see the doctor so I had to take care of it from home. Um, until then, so I'll put links to those in the description. So, anyways, what I did to test this um, hypothesis was um, I got something like this, this plastic uh, old cat litter container, right? Because it's big enough, so I figured it'd be it'd do a good job. And what I did was I set up like a winter scenario where somebody would be wearing the most amount of clothing to test it first. So I took an old tank top right here. I just layered it over the, the uh, cat litter thing, just like this, um, as you can see, and I shot at this area. So the next thing I did was I got, by the way, this is stuff that I would have worn like on a really cold day to work um, in the dead winter. Um, so the next thing I got was just a plain old white t-shirt. Um, these are clothes I'll never wear again, so I just decided to use them for testing purposes. Then I layered that over the tank top, so now you have that, two layers. <clears throat> then I took this old Yankee shirt, as you can see, um, and I layered that over the white t-shirt and the tank top. So that would have been what I was wearing underneath all the long sleeve stuff. So now you have this, three layers. You have the t-shirt, the white tee, and the tank top underneath. Um, then I took this old uh, plaid shirt, uh, this button down long sleeve plaid shirt, so I buttoned it up because that's how I'd be wearing it, and again, I layered it over the top of all those, just like that, um, just like that, and again, I still aim for this area, um, then I actually took my old work coat, um, the exact coat I would wear to work, um, I have a new one, but... This is one that I don't wear anymore. As you can see, it's not super thick at all. It's thin. It does the job with all those extra layers. Um, so what I did was I didn't want to uh, zip this up. So what I did was I put it backwards over everything so it would be smoother. Um, as you can see, this is what you're end you end up with with all the layers underneath. Um, you just have all these shirt layers underneath and this is how it dressed for the winter. Um, you might not be able to see that but uh, there's some shots in there. So last night what I did was I took the gun that I actually shot myself with. The Umrex Colt M45 CQBP. Um, this has a max muzzle velocity of 400 feet per second. Um, I shot myself at point blank range by accident. I forgot totally that it was loaded on um, just pulled the trigger to reset the, tr the hammer. Um, so I used that at first and nothing penetrated the coat. Things, a couple BBs did make it through the first layer of the coat but they're still in the coat. Nothing hit the plaid shirt under the coat. Nothing actually made it through 
the back side of the coat. It did some damage to the back side, so you might feel it, but it's not going to hurt you. Uh, so the next thing I did was I upped it to 450 feet per second with the Crossman SR357. And believe it or not, same result. Um, I even did point blank range shots. I went from 10 feet to 5 feet to 1 foot to point blank. And I got the same result. Some went through just the first layer of the coat. Some just bounced right off. Um, so then last night what I did was I took out the uh, gun that I just put a review out for. I'll put the link at the end of this video. Um, it's the non-blowback version of the Umarex um, MMP40, Smith & Wesson MMP40. Um, this maxes out at 480 feet per second. So 30 more feet per second than the Crossman SR357. And then I stopped because it got kind of late. So. Um, Still, even with 300 or 480 feet per second, same result. Um, some bounced off, some penetrated just the first layer, but nothing made it through the coat at all. Um, I have to do a little research today. I have a lot of CO2 guns, and I can't remember the FPS for all of them. So I'm going to continue uh, the experiment today in testing and see what we can do. I think the max FPS CO2 gun I have goes up to 7 or 800 FPS. So if that doesn't penetrate, um, I don't know what will. I doubt Airsoft will because of the bigger pellets and their plastic. Uh, as for pellets, um, I'm not sure if they'll even make it through the first layer of the coat. Um, they might just be bounced right off. Um, but I will put it to the test. Um, and then I was also thinking about doing like a summer scenario. Like what if somebody was wearing just something like this. Or just this and a plain t-shirt over it only. Would it do damage then? Um, so I'm going to keep putting that to the test. Um, but anyways guys, I hope you all have a great day. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I hope it's uh, educational for someone out there so you can finally put to rest whether BB guns are good for self-defense or not. I would say no so far, but um, you know, you make your own decisions. If it's a life-threatening situation, it's all you have. Um, literally, I would say go for it. You know, um, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying definitely go out there and do that. I'm saying like if someone's literally standing over you with a knife or something and you just happen to have a little BB gun, then, you know, try to save your life. But other than that, uh, for home intrusion or something like that, unless they have, you know, I would say, unless I was going to say unless they have a gun, then don't use it. But if they have a gun and they see this they might just come at you so I don't I would just say avoid it at all costs try to just escape and run um let the, let the police deal with it they're better suited for that type of stuff um BB guns as are, are just not and as Michael said in his video he made another a couple other good points as to why BB guns are not good for self-defense aside from penetration um and that is what if someone did have a real gun? You know, then you'd be screwed. You'd be totally screwed. Um, the other thing is, it's not hidden. It's not a secret. It's known that some people have been shot by the police multiple times with 9mm rounds and still came running at them. So, depending on the person, how determined they are, etc., a BB gun compared to a 9mm is not going to stop that person. Um, so I would not suggest using it. It's probably just going to piss them off more. Um, and they're going to charge you. Um, and then you're going to be, you might be in some trouble. So um, I would just avoid it at all costs. So um, anyways guys, as I said, I'm going to continue this testing. I hope you all have a great day. hope you enjoy this video. If you like my videos, definitely give them a like. Definitely comment. I love hearing from you guys. Again, uh, replicaairguns.com links will be in the description and uh, somewhere around the video. Uh, and that's it, guys. So I hope we get something out of this testing. Uh, I'm going to go up past 480 feet per second and just go until I can't go anymore. And then I'm going to do the summer scenario. And then that'll be it. And then I'll give you a little commentary at the end so we can talk about the results of what we saw so um anyways guys enjoy your day and peace so 
In here, I only loaded up about five or six uh, high-density steel BBs. Uh, the Umarex Colt M45 has a max FPS of 400 feet per second. So, I'm going to move back at first about 10 feet and then shoot square into the center of this thing right here. Um, and see what we can do. Um, see if anything penetrates um, before I just start unloading BBs into this. Um, so, let me back up. So, okay guys, I'm about 10 feet away, safety's off, I'm just going to cock this thing, and uh, here we go with the first shot. Okay, so, it looks like Michael might have been right, man, all these layers certainly stopped the BB. Um, so, as you heard, that BB, I'll put it in slow-mo for you guys, maybe, but that BB certainly bounced off. Um, I'm going to move up now a little closer, let's say about 5 feet, and then see what happens. Alright, guys, so, move a little closer now. Now we're at 5 feet. You let off a shot here. Penetrate? Okay, it did penetrate the jacket right there, as you can see. Um, let me try to move this for you guys. Sorry for shaking the camera. Um, actually, let me just not. Let's see how far if it left the coat. Um, it never made it through the coat. As you can see, um, let me try to get the camera to it real quick. I have it on an arm, so it's hard, but you can see that little indentation sticking out. The BB is inside the coat still, so it did not penetrate the coat. So, I'm going to try one point blank, or maybe from a foot away, then point blank, and see what happens. So, uh, let me just uh, back up a little. Alright, so now I'm, I'm literally, oh, I'm basically point blank, but not right up to it. But So, I'm about a foot away, so uh, let me just see what happens here. Oh, that bounced off. Um, yeah, that bounced off totally. I can't get the BB. Um, it did penetrate the jacket. Um, it made a hole in it anyway, but, uh, I don't know if you can see that on camera. There you go. See, it made that little second hole, but the BB bounced right out. It never exited, uh, the back of this thing, so... You can see it damaged. Uh, let me just try to pull this up a little more for you guys. You can see the damage it did right there. But nothing made it through to the shirt. Um, so our shirt is still good to go. Um, so I'm just going to put one point blank in. Uh, looks like uh, Michael from ReplicaAirDuns.com. Sorry, can't speak right now. Um, was right. Um, <clears throat> I mean... This is 400 FPS, so since they're not penetrating, I'm just going to move up a little in FPS. But let me just do one point blank first real quick, and then uh, see what we get from that. Oh! I don't know why, my smoke just started coming off the coat. <laughs> it turned white at first. I guess that was the CO2 actually blast. It was probably the actually actually that was probably was what it was. That was probably the the frost, and then it just smoked away, evaporated away. But I'm sure you heard the BB bounce off anyway. So it did damage the coat. It damaged the backside. I could feel um it pushed it, but it did not penetrate through the backside of this coat. So um. I would say if your BB gun is at 400 feet per second, definitely don't use it for self-defense, at least in the winter. Um, I shot myself, as I said, it was an accident at point blank range with this thing, um, and it hit my bones. So, bare skin is another thing, but if someone's fully dressed like this, um, I wouldn't rely on something 400 feet per second. So. I'm going to give the Umarex Colt M45 a thumbs down for self-defense if somebody's dressed up like that, you know, or if they're determined. Um, 
And as he said in his video, you know, um, nine millimeters have been shot at people and they've still come at you. Um, so doing this would just piss someone off probably and they would just charge you. But so I wouldn't rely on this. Um, so I'm going to move up higher in FPS and let's see what we can do. So I'll see you in the next segment, guys. Alright guys, so as you saw at 400, and, at 400 feet per second, it didn't do anything. Uh, nothing even made it to the plaid shirt underneath. So, so far everything did just bounce off. Even at point blank range, it broke the coat, but it did not make it through the coat. Um, it did damage the backside, so the person might feel the BB hit them, but it certainly won't stop them, and it probably won't even hurt. Um, maybe a bruise, possibly, if that. Um, so what I did here was, um, since it didn't penetrate, is I upped the muzzle velocity to 450 feet per second. So now I have the Crossman SR357, which maxes out at 450 feet per second. Um, I got all six shots loaded, and again, I'm going to back up 10 feet, see what we can do. If it penetrates, uh, I doubt it's going to penetrate even higher. Um, if it does penetrate the coat, I doubt it's going to penetrate all layers. I don't think, uh, I think we'll, have, we'll really have to go up there to penetrate all the way through, but um, I'm going to back up 10 feet now, um, and just let off the first shot and see what happens. I'm going to aim for right about this area. Alright guys, I'm already cocked, ready to go, so here goes the first shot. Um, I did not hear anything bounce. Um, let me just put this on safety. Um, as you can see, it certainly penetrated the coat's front side. Uh, but it did not come out the back side of the coat. Um, nope. Oh, it did it? No, it did not. Nope, it didn't. Well, let me see, hold on. No, it didn't. It didn't even come out the backside. So the BB is still in the coat at 450 feet per second. Um, it still, it definitely went in the coat for sure. Um, and I have the feeling every shot's gonna make it through the coat. But um, nothing came out the back so far. So still, I would not rely on that for self-defense. But um. Let me back up to five feet now, and then uh, same thing, I'll just keep going forward and see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm here five feet away, just going to let it round off into the coat. I don't even know where that hit. Oh, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, you can see that uh, right there. So let's see, let me put this on safety again. Nope, nothing made it through the backside. Um, you can see, um, you cannot see my skin or anything through that. Um, it did tear the coat, um, the BB. I can't feel them, but I didn't hear them bounce off, so I don't know if they're in the seam now or something, but they are definitely in the coat. I mean, they, they didn't bounce away or anything. Oh, I might feel, I can't tell if that's a BB or not, but um, that was five feet away, so let me back up just about a foot, and then I'll do one point blank, and then see what happens. All right, guys, so here's from about a foot away, give or take a few inches. I don't have a ruler on me or a measuring tape, but uh, let me just cock this thing and see what happens. Oh. Alright, so. I have to look at the footage over. Yeah, it was this one, I think. Um. Nothing still penetrated the coat. Yeah, none of these penetrated the coat. Um. I don't know why, the one at 400 feet per second, the Umarex Colt M45, even though they some penetrated the coat, um, as you can see, these two right here are for the from the Umarex Colt M45, they did damage to the back of the coat, they like pushed it out, but 
at 450 feet per second. These guys right here by the Crossman SR357, they did penetrate, but they did no damage to the back of the coat. It feels nice and smooth. There's no indentations that I can see. Um, no, there's nothing. So that's super weird. Um, maybe it's because of how the projectile shot. I'm not sure, but um, I'm just going to do one point blank and see what happens. So um, let me just take this off safety, cock it, and just do one point blank, and then we'll go up in FPS. Alright guys, so do not try this at home, um, but here we go with a uh, point blank shot. Um, yeah, that bounced right off, as you can see, the frost from the CO2 built up around the shot um, and then dissipated. Um, that is the shot, but let me just get it on a few more right there. Um, and as you can see, it just penetrated the first layer of the coat. It didn't even go all the way through, even at point blank. So I would say that's a definite no-no for uh, self-defense if somebody's fully closed, unless you're planning on shooting them, you know, on, in the face or somewhere bare skin. But uh, I wouldn't go for it so far. Um, so let's move up the FPS and see what we can do, but I doubt anything's going to make it through this. Um, we might have to go up past 600 maybe, and I'm not even sure, so this is a first for me, but I was super curious, so um, let's move on. Alrighty guys, so, so far, as you guys saw, um, we went, we started 400 feet per second, then we moved up to 450 feet per second, so now... I have, um, I just did a review on this, it's the non-blowback version of the Umarex uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 40. It uh, has a max muzzle velocity of 480 feet per second, so 30 more feet per second than uh, the Crossman SR357, and we're going to see if we can do some damage to this thing. I doubt it. Um, so far, I'm pretty sure, like, uh... Replica, replicaairguns.com said um, BB guns just are not a good self defense weapon um, later on I'm going to uh, get rid of the coat and everything and just shoot um, maybe like a t-shirt and a tank top underneath it like as if it was a summer condition and see what happens so I got four shots loaded into the Smith & Wesson M&P 40. Um, I'm going to move back 10 feet again, then move up to 5 feet, then 1 feet, and then point blank, and see what we get. Um, so let me back up 10 feet. Whoops. Here we go. Alrighty, so here's our first shot at 10 feet away. Oh yeah, that didn't penetrate, that just, oh there it is, I uh, just found it on the floor, I gotta look at the footage again, but um, yeah, it didn't even break, it messed the coat up, uh, like it definitely like messed the uh, stitch up in it and stuff, but um, it didn't penetrate, it just bounced right off, so now I'm gonna move up to 5 feet, um, and see what we get, alright, so now I'm about 5 feet away, Um, I didn't hear anything come out. Um, this is where it went in. Uh, let's see if you guys can see that right there. Um, that third, this one right here where my finger's touching. Um, that's where it went in. I don't feel any exit from that. Um, I don't feel an exit from any of them. So, so far nothing has penetrated fully through this coat. Um, and this is not even a thick coat. As you can see, it's pretty thin. Um, it's just, you know, uh, I don't know what you call this. I guess nylon. And it's got some insulation inside, like a tent insulation. I don't know what kind of fabric that is. I have to look at the label. But um, it's super thin. Um, and so far nothing's penetrating. So... Let me back up one foot and then do the point blank and see what happens. Alright, so here I am about one foot away. I'm going to aim for right about there. Maybe just around here. Alright, guys. Mm. 
nothing. Bouncing right back. Um, yeah, it broke the code again. Uh, again, I'll have to look at the footage to see which one that was, but, um, I, I can already tell nothing penetrated through this code. None of these shots actually made it fully through. Um, again, the, the lowest FPS one, for some reason, seemed to do more damage to the back of the coat than the higher FPS BBs, so I'm not sure why that is, but um, so far, nothing is working on this coat, so let's just do one point blank and uh, see what happens. I guarantee you, same, same result. Um, yeah, there, see I always catch those point blank ones because you can see the frost. Um, so, this is it right here. This one. And it definitely did damage to the back. Um, let me try to pull the coat down a little for you guys. I don't know if you can see. Let me just lift this up. There you go. Uh, you can see it definitely like some of them uh, dented the back of the coat, but nothing made it through. So with all these extra layers on, like this t-shirt, another t-shirt, and a uh, tank top underneath, somebody's just going to get super pissed. They're not going to stop if they're attacking you. So this is a total waste of time to use as a self-defense weapon, uh, unless, I don't know, I wouldn't even use it. Um, I was going to say unless you're aiming at skin, but... It just seems like a bad idea altogether so far, but um, let's just move on in FPS and see if we can get anything through this at all. Okay guys, so as you can see, we went up to 480 feet per second with the uh, Umarex non-blowback version of the MMP40, the Smith & Wesson MMP40. So, what I have here is the Crossman M4177. Um, it's a pneumatic pump rifle. According to Crossman.com, um, it shoots steel BBs and pellets, but across, according to Crossman.com, um, it shoots BBs, steel BBs, at a rate of 650 feet per second, or max rate, um, and it shoots pellets at a max muzzle velocity of 700 feet per second. So what I'm gonna do is step back 10 feet, give it five pumps, and uh, see, see what happens. That should be maybe five or six pumps. That should be more than 480 feet per second if 10 is 700, maybe, maybe about the same. But anyways, I tried to draw a circle around this the best I can. I'm gonna aim for this spot here. Um, and see what happens. Um, so let me back up, uh, give this thing six pumps, and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, so one, two, three, four, five, six. By the way, guys, pardon my dog lady if she whines in the background. She's safe and everything, but she tends to whine sometimes when I uh, shoot. She just doesn't like loud noises. So, uh, anyways, guys, all right, so I got it pumped six times. I'm going to back up 10 feet and see what we can do. All right, safety off. All right, guys, here we go with the first shot. Let me just change the sight here. Oh, that bounced right off. Um, did I hit? I think I hit right on the side of it. It did. It broke the jacket, but it didn't penetrate. Um, no, it didn't even go to the other side. It bounced right off. Um, I think you guys could see that right there. Um, it broke the jacket, but it didn't do anything else. It just bounced back at me. So I'm gonna go for 10 pumps at 10 feet away and see what happens. <clears throat> so let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five, Ten. 
Alright, so that's 10 pumps, and according to Crossman and everybody, that should be 650 feet per second. So, uh, again, I'm going to aim for the circle. I'm going to aim a little higher um, and see what happens from 10 feet away. Wow, guys, again. It literally just bounced off. Um, I'm not even sure where I hit that, actually. I'm assuming where it's uh, pushed in, but I'm not really sure. But I don't see any breakage. I'm not sure if that's it. Um, there's a couple holes here, one there, one there. But none of them, yeah, none of them went through the flannel yet so let's see what happens so again alright so what I'm gonna do now is do five f pumps from five feet away or five or six I'll do six pumps again from five feet away and see what happens One, two, three, four, five, six pumps guys so <clears throat> Let me just back up five feet here and see what happens. Alright, so that one definitely did not bounce back. Um, I believe that's it. Let me just put this on safety real quick. Um, did it go through? Oh, there's a BB right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It actually did go through the coat, but it did not penetrate the final. So, that was 10 pumps from 5 feet away, and there's the BB right there. So, it definitely went through the coat, but I don't think that would stop somebody still. So, um, let's move on. So I'm going to do 10 pumps now from 5 feet away. And then, uh, I'm going to do... Uh, same at point blank. So here we go, 10 pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, let's see if we can get something through this thing. Safety off. Let me just go again. Wow, it actually bounced off. I was not expecting that. Um, I don't know why I'm closer, but it seemed to bounce off rather than penetrate when it was farther away. So that's interesting. Um, so uh, I'm gonna just do ten more pumps and just do point blank and see what happens. Um because so far I would doubt you would want to use one of these for self-defense. I wouldn't um, after doing this. But uh, let me just do 10 pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's 10 pumps, guys. Here we go. Point blank. Okay, so that definitely penetrated. Um, I don't know how deep, but you can see the hole right there. Let me just put this light on. Maybe you can see a little better. There you go, maybe. Um, so let's see how deep it went, if it penetrated. Um, it looks like it did penetrate the back as you can see right there um it did penetrate the shirt oh the bb just fell out it penetrated the shirt um I'll, I'll put a video it's right there um so it did go through the front of the flannel oh definitely went through the back too i think yeah it did go through the back as well um you can see right there uh, I don't know if you can see that actually the flannel is kind of But it's right there where my finger is moving so it went through the flannel Did it go through it went through the front of the 
Nike t-shirt or the Yankees t-shirt. Um, it went through the back of the Yankees t-shirt and then it stopped at the white tee. Um, and that's it. It didn't, yeah, it didn't uh, mess anything else up. So that's it guys, even at 10 pumps. So according to uh, Crossman and everybody, that should have been 700 feet per second. Um, I have these all very smooth, they're not bunched up, so it's fair, you know, it would be as if it was on your body, um, they're not like folded or anything, they're a little messed up now for me messing with it, but um, as you can see, even at 10 pumps from point blank range, it didn't go all the way through, um, I could try it one more time and just see if we can get through, um, but I doubt it, um, Alright, um, yep, I do have a magazine here. Alright, so let's see what happens here. I'm gonna try it one more time to see if we get a different result. Alright, so, okay, it looks the same so far, but let's see how deep that one went. It looks like it did more damage than the first hole. As you can see, um, the hole is bigger, so... Yeah, that went through, uh, went through the shirt. Um, let's see how deep it went. Went through the... Um, oh, the BB just fell out. Went through again, the Nike shirt. That one actually went through the white tee as well. Right there. Um, let's see. Did it make it through to the... Oh, it did not. So, it broke through the white tee. And then that's it. Looks like the, the uh, tank top underneath basically... Uh, saved whoever would have been wearing this from getting hit directly on the skin. So, once again, guys, um, point blank range, even 10 pumps, 700 feet per second. Um, it did not penetrate all these layers. So, um, I'm gonna move on to like a more summer scenario. I'm gonna do just do a tank top and a t shirt and see what kind of results we get. But so far, I would have to say. I think, uh, in my head at least, I'm putting the rest of the argument, um, our BB gun is good for self-defense. So, um, anyways guys, let me move on and I'll set up for the summer, uh, scenario. Alright guys, so, um, just for the hell of it, I figured I'd try something fully automatic. So I have the, uh, M712 here, the Umarex Legends M712, um, I got 21 steel BBs loaded up in there. I'm gonna do point blank. Uh, I'm not gonna do this from a distance just in case they do bounce back. I don't wanna clean up that mess. So I'm gonna do this from point blank. Um, so let me take this thing off safety. And uh, just for testing purposes, I'm curious if uh, this thing only runs at 400 feet per second. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. Um, so. It shouldn't do much more damage, but I'm wondering if uh, fully auto, you know, the cyclic rate might do more damage, uh, even though it's a lower feet per second or a mo lower muzzle velocity. So, um, anyways, um, let me take this off safety, cock it, and then let's go full auto right into this coat here. Oh, wow, yeah, so... All right, looks like I got a mess to clean up. There's a couple left. Yeah, there's still a couple left. I'm not even gonna bother shooting them. Um, Cause as you heard, most of them just bounced off. Um, definitely did some way more significant damage, obviously, than um, single shots. So the hole's bigger. Um, but as you see, Nothing made it through. Even fully auto, 400 feet per second. Nothing hit the cat litter container underneath. So, yeah, I'm going to put that to rest. So, again, uh, let me move on to the summer scenario. 
Okay guys, so this is going to be our summer scenario portion of this uh, penetration testing. So what I did was I stripped away the coat um, and the uh, plaid shirt and I just left a white beater or a guinea tee, tank top, whatever you want to call it, and just a plain white t-shirt, uh, something you would normally see somebody wearing in the summer and again I loaded up I started from the beginning I have the Umarex Colt M45 uh, max out at 400 feet per second so I'm going to move back 10 feet and see if this will go through the t-shirt or the, the uh, tank top underneath so uh, let me back up and get this thing going I'm only going to let go of maybe like two, three shots, if that. Alright, yeah, so as I suspected, they're bouncing back, so I didn't want to just start unloading on this thing. Um, yeah, nothing penetrated, even the t-shirt. Oh uh, man, I wish I had something around my finger when I shot myself, but uh, damn, yeah, nothing even went through the t-shirt. So let me just go pick those BBs up and I'll move up a little closer to 5 feet. Okay guys, so um, as you saw at 10 feet away, um, at 400 feet per second, the two shots right there just bounced back. So I'm going to go about 4 or 5 feet away unload one shot see what happens if it penetrates then I'll let go another one um but other than that I'm not gonna keep going and make a mess but um so let me back up a little all right safety off and uh let's see um nope did not penetrate and uh actually the BB just landed in my lap um I believe this was it. You could see for some reason it like made like a bubble around the back of uh or around the, the the hole but nothing went through fully yet. Um so we're good. I'm gonna just try one point blank and see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna go through though honestly. So let's just see. Nope. Did not go through. Um, here's the BB right here, as you can see. Um, still, it, it broke the shirt a little bit, but still did not go through. Um, so 400 feet per second against just a t-shirt is a no-go. Um, I'll explain later, but it could be other factors too, like the type of fabric, etc. Those could all play a part in uh, this as well so um we're going to move on to the next gun and i'll see you guys soon okay guys so i'm back with the crossman sr357 for the summer dress up scenario which is just the tank top and a t-shirt to see if we can get something through these um I loaded up three shots. I'm going to do one from 10 feet away, one from 5 feet away, and then again at point blank. Um, the Crossman SR357 again is uh, has a max muzzle velocity of 450 feet per second. So um, that's 50 feet per second faster than the Umarex Colt M45. So uh, I'm going to back up 10 feet and let the first shot go and see what happens. Alright guys, so, here we go. And nothing, that, oh, there you go, I found it. Um, yeah, that bounced right off the shirt as well. Um, I just realized a thought just came to my mind, by the way, there's the BB, just caught it, uh, but this is the shot right there. Um, again, yeah, it didn't make it through the shirt. But um, I just thought maybe if there was something soft behind this, it might be a different outcome. So 
if I had like a gel or something closer to uh, you know something to emulate human body better um, the outcome might be different but so far no good so um, I'm gonna do again now one from five feet away and then one from point blank and we'll see what happens so let me just uh, cock this again and then I back up Alright guys, so here I am, five feet away, say you were confronting somebody or someone was coming at you, and you whip this thing out and see what happens. Um, they probably keep coming at you and be super tight. Um, or they might stop for a second thinking they might just got really shot, I'm not really sure, but um, that definitely didn't break it it dented as you can see right there the back of the shirt but it didn't penetrate so um, I'm pretty sure whoever was wearing this would have been safe um, so I got one shot left guys um, in the chamber um, I'm gonna cock that right now do that point blank and see what happens um, so let's see I don't know when you'd ever be in this situation hopefully you're never not but uh, let's see what happens. Let me turn this extra light on real quick for you guys. Maybe a little better. It has like this little flashiness to it, but let's see. Okay, so. Alright, so I just caught the BB. Um, that is the shot right there. Um, Let's see if it penetrated. Let's get rid of this flashing light. I don't know why it's flashing. Um, but yet again, uh, not sure if you could see. Let's see if I can get it on camera. But it did the same as before. It just dented the back of the t-shirt. Um, um, there we go. It's right there. Where is my Right there. Just put a dent in the back of the t-shirt. So that might bruise someone up, but it didn't penetrate the t-shirt. So... Uh, that's again at 450 feet per second. Uh, so the Crossman SR57 is, or SR357 is uh, definitely a no-go. I would not use that to protect myself from anybody unless they were shirtless or for some reason naked. Um, and even then, I don't know. I'd probably think twice. But uh, so let's move on. I'm gonna move on to the next one again, which was the. Uh, Umarex non blowback version of the Smith and Wesson MMP40, and I'll see you then. All right, guys. So I am back with the Umarex Smith and Wesson MMP40, um, which has a max muzzle velocity, as I said, I think I might have mentioned it, of 480 feet per second. So. I loaded up three shots, and again, I'm going to do one from 10 feet away, one from 5 feet away, and then one straight point blank. Um, so I'm going to back up now, 10 feet away, aim for about this area, and then uh, see what happens. I have the feeling it's going to be the same result, but let's just see. Alright guys, here we go with the first shot. Let's see what happens. Same result. Um, I don't know which shot that was. Um, I'll have to look at the footage again. But um, I know it was the same result because the BB just bounced back at me. Um, so that definitely didn't go through. <clears throat> so let me move up five feet. <clears throat> and then I'll fire off the second shot. So here we go. Oh, yeah, that one went flying back. But as you see, it seems like as the FPS gets higher, it's creating like these bubbles around where it gets shot. Um, by the way, there's some kids playing in my hallway, so my dog, that's Lady barking. Lady, be good girl. Lady. Alright, so um, I'm going to do one point blank now. And uh, let's just see what happens. I have the feeling it's just going to bounce right off. And this is a fresh CO2 cartridge too. So let's just see. Um, didn't bounce as far away. 
Um, oh wow, yeah, definitely broke the shirt. <clears throat> so, as you see, it broke the shirt. Uh, let's see, did it break? Okay, so it did break through the front side of the shirt and then it hit the back side. A few of them did. Um, but, oh, well, looks like something did hit the wife or the uh, tank top here. You can see it's broken there. Um, some of the thread, but oh, and the back of the thread here is, is broken a little bit as well. Um, as you can see right there, see those two spots. So I'm not sure if they penetrated and bounced off of this, or if they uh, that last one might have bounced off of this because it landed very close to this setup. Um, the other two went flying way back so I don't think they penetrated and came right back out through the same hole I don't think that would be possible so um yeah so I think whoever would was wearing this they'd still be pretty safe but just pretty pissed so um I'm gonna move on now to the M4 and uh let's just see what happens okay guys so um I got the M4 loaded up um this is it here again um Whoops. So, this time, since I only have three shots loaded in here for 10 feet away, 5 feet away, and then point blank, I'm just going to pump all three 10 times and see what happens. So, I'm going to pump this 10 times, then move 10 feet away, shoot it, pump it 10 times, move 5 feet away, shoot it, and then do the same for point blank. So, here we go with the first shot. Let me just pump this thing. One. Alright guys, so let me back up 10 feet, <clears throat> take safety off, just pull the stock out a little, and here we go. Oh wow, I definitely heard that, that definitely penetrated uh, both the um, t-shirt and the tank top underneath. I'm not sure what shot it was, but uh, where did it go? Yeah, see this is the penetration right here. It's inside this, it didn't come out, I heard it fall inside and just roll around. So it definitely went through. So. If you were to get hit with something like that, um, I would say 600 feet to 700 feet per second. Again, sorry, I don't mean to keep banging this thing. My camera's connected to an arm. But if you were to get hit, I'd say, like I was saying, um, between six to 700 feet per second, only wearing this, you're probably still going to get quite hurt. And this is plastic. Imagine if something soft like your body was under that. Um, so, um, I guess so I'm just going to continue. I'm going to do the same thing. Ten pumps for uh, five feet away and then just get rid of the last one at point blank. So, here you go with the second shot. Let me just pump it. Safety off. I'm gonna load this up. Now let's go with the first shot, five feet away. Ooh, same thing, guys. Um, let me just put the safety on. It definitely went through. Um, I'm not sure which shot it was. I can't tell. Um, but I heard it go into the um oh it was pretty much right next to the other one so i heard it land inside of here so yeah you'd be screwed if you were wearing just a t-shirt and it or and a tank top or just one or the other um and i'm pretty for sure point blank is gonna do exactly the same so let me pump this thing um again i have one shot left in it and i'm gonna do the point blank one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 
10 guys so here we take the safety off cock it and I got the last BB chamber and then we're just gonna go right into there Ooh, I don't know what happened um I got one shot left I'm oh, sorry guys the uh, it just didn't grab it so let me just load this again there we go. Let me just pump it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright guys, so now I am ready to go and here we are. Alright, so um I have a pillow behind the setup, um, this right here as you can see, um, just in case anything penetrated fully, that's my stop, or my homemade stop anyway, um, I have the feeling it went all the way through and into the pillow, so I'm just going to check real quick here, um, see if there's any exits out of the uh, box and yes there is um it did exit the box it did not enter the pillow um it went fully through the tank top and the t-shirt here's the bb um let me just put that there so as you can see that one went fully through um right there you can see the hole or not that great on camera but that's the hole um, and then on the back side, um, uh, or maybe that wasn't the hole, but that's the exit wound right there. I just got to line them up correctly. Uh, I don't even see it. It might just be behind the, uh, the, uh, this part right here is plastic, and I'm just not seeing it correctly, or it was that one. But, um, anyways, guys, that one went fully through, but it did not, um, penetrate the cloth draping over the back side or the pillow so yeah again you'd be screwed if you were getting shot with something at this high of a velocity um but um i still that doesn't that still doesn't mean it's good for self-defense um because as i mentioned before there's plenty of reasons other reasons why you know that you'd have to think about what is the person on something um, how badly they want to get you, etc. So, um, I just wanted to do the penetration test to see if a BB gun would even penetrate their clothes. So, now we know, um, most likely not, unless you have something heavyweight. Um, so I would avoid it at all costs. So, um, anyways, guys, that's it for the penetration portion of this, and I will be back with you guys in a second. Alright guys, so that was a pretty interesting test. Um, as I said, damn, I wish I had noticed it sooner, but I shouldn't have layered the clothing over the cat litter box like I did. I should have put it around it, so it's just one layer exposed of, like, say, the tank top and the t-shirt. So maybe I'll do that in the next video or another penetration video. Um, I'm going to keep trying it because... Um, that coat held up a lot, I wasn't expecting that, um, especially after shooting myself and seeing how easy the BB went right through my finger, um, I thought for sure it would go through the coat, but <clears throat> apparently Michael was right, um, I just wanted to put it to the test because I was super curious, but, um, as I was editing this video, I was thinking, what if I use different, like, fabrics and stuff like that, so I'm gonna test it with different things, like denim maybe, um, and I'm going to test it right next time. I'm going to put something, the clothing articles around the object that I use. I might try to find something soft, as I said, so that um, it'll emulate the body a little better, like something you can see if it will do damage. Um, because some of those shots are point blank, even though they didn't penetrate, I'm pretty sure they would have broke skin or and definitely bruised. Um, or just hurt, you know, I mean, I would imagine a barrage of M712 BBs coming at you, like, would hurt quite a bit, um, I don't really know, maybe with all those layers, maybe not, I don't know, um, but other than that, guys, I just wanted to point out, um, uh, 
Today I actually got my Glock 19. Uh, this is a non-blowback version by Umarex. So I'm going to be doing a review on this. This is the first Glock that I've owned. Um, CO2 Glock. Um, so I'm really interested in doing the review on this. I tried it out the other day and the accuracy on this thing is a beast. I tore up that circle in the center. Um, so this might be my new target practice gun um, because I need some target practice. Um, so anyways guys, I hope that we got something out of this video. I'm sorry it was really long. I didn't mean for it to be that long. Um, I'll try to watch the time on my videos next time. Um, but anyways, I hope that you learned something like I said. And I appreciate you all for watching. Um, stay tuned for more. I have more reviews coming up. I have more penetration videos coming up. I have a lot of ideas coming up. So... Um, I'll, I'll be in touch with you guys. I'll be putting out videos constantly. So just stay tuned to my channel. And peace.